remember the first day you start training, Andrew? Actually, I do. It was, uh, I would say, in, uh, in, 90, in 92. I got a call from uh, Mariola, actually. And at the time, they were married. They were just kind of falling in love, you could say. And she said that uh, she had a boxer that she wanted to bring over for me to look at and start training. And that's when I met Andrew. You know, I didn't even know who he was. After I got to, to know him, you know, of course, they told me he was, uh, you know, the Olympics for Poland. And uh, at the time, uh, he had the European style. And uh, after after about six, seven months, we started, we started breaking him in to, uh, to get Americanized. Uh, 18 years ago, a uh, long time. Then was another Polish fighter, Tomek Adamek. Of course, I have to ask you if you remember this date. It was a date when you got your actually, world, champion, actually, world championship with him. Actually, it started with Ziggy. Oh, uh, he, he called me. He said he had a Polish fighter. He wanted uh, me to meet and to give my uh, my input, what I thought of him. So we made arrangements for him to come over to Chicago. I met the, I met. The, Adamek and uh, I called Ziggy the next day, and I told him the next day, I said, you got the real deal here. So, just a couple, couple of hours with Tomek oh Adamek, just, yes. you didn't have to see anything more? I need to call Ziggy to verify that. Okay. I called him the next day. I will I, not, I trust you. And I called him the next day, I said, you got the real deal here, and he asked me, how do you know? I said, I can tell a good fighter from a bad fighter. And, By this, guy, and this guy's got a little bit of everything, you know? And, uh, my theory was right. You know, he became champion in, in three weight classes. Well, not not three, but two for sure. Yeah, well, he, he's, he's going for a third one. He's working on his third one. So unbelievable. Uh, would you say that uh, you know, just taking into consideration the trust between you and Ziggy Rosalski, then if you would didn't like Tomek Adam. Just say, you know what, I don't think so this is the guy. I don't think so it makes sense to, to do anything with him. Will uh, a bit, with Tomek Adamek uh, career go a different way? Is it possible? I, I think so. I think that I've, I've made a, a big impact in his career. Because if I would have said, well, I don't think this guy's the real deal. I don't think he would have hooked up with King because because I was involved with King and Ziggy was involved with King. I think I made a big impact in his career. Because he could be sitting in Poland waiting for a shot that he would have never got. There's a lot of good fighters out there that never get the opportunity. And he probably would have been one sitting on the shelf waiting, waiting. By the time he got a chance, he would have been probably 40 years old, and then it would have been too late. Uh, using the knowledge and uh, your history in, in boxing, uh, could you give me the Tomek Adamek rating for today? Uh, is he that, you know, he's ranked as one of top five heavyweights. There is a never ending discussion about will he or will he not have uh, chances with, with Klitschko brothers. Some guys are saying, you know, makes no sense. The other are saying, you never know. I mean, he's a different fighter. Uh, if you can give me a quick assessment of, uh, well, of Atomic, Adamek, and in the heavyweight division. You know, I think, the, I think the, in the heavyweight division, that's the most exciting division, uh, being a heavyweight. I think to make the real money, I think he made the right move. Because in the cruiserweight division, it's not an exciting division. Nobody really notices the cruiserweights. In the United for, States? In the United States. For yeah. the money, I think it's a very smart move. Is he going to become a world champion? He's got a lot to prove to me that he can do it. Uh, from the last few fights he had, he showed a lot of heart. He showed a lot of skills. But can he hang in there with a true heavyweight that's in condition, not over the hill, in his prime? Uh, I don't know. To me, still got, I still have to be proven that he could do this.